guys welcome back to another plan with me this one should be going up on monday which is kind of exciting although it is a halloween plan with me um as you guys know i'm trying to catch up and i want to do at least two plan with me's a week in order to catch up but i do think instead of doing plan aheads once i'm caught up i like this whole rewind kind of back planning for the previous week so i think that's what i'm going to end up doing um because it's so much more fun to like fill out more things and be able to talk to you about a lot of things rather than just like the pre-planning process which was what i was originally doing so i am planning for um the week that was october 29th through november 4th sorry if you can see here ray crying she wants to be in here so bad i might have to go open the door um but i'm using a halloween kit which did i even get to use a halloween kit at all in october i used one um because before pastel christmas everything is sealed up but i used pastel or pastel christmas pastel halloween and then this was the last plan with me which was the magic week which turned out really great i should probably take pictures of that and then this will be my only real like other halloween spread this month this year which kind of stinks because i love halloween but i am using the hocus pocus kit from scribble prints co because this was like my favorite that spc came out with this year and i just really wanted to use it so i have a little freebie here uh, of the munchkins i have the a la carte fashion girls and like the quote box which i love and i'm going to be using all four of these uh, boxes because i love the sanderson sisters you have your full boxes your deco page icons page functional page, half boxes, headers, little things, ombre heart checklist, washi, and then I also have the glitter sampler as well. It is Sunday. I am home alone with Avery, so if she does like pop in here or you hear her, um, I will try my best to like edit that out, but she, she's, she needs me. You know, I'm the only parent here, so if she needs me, she's going to come get me. So let's get started. I did spent most of this morning kind of like organizing my stickers. I haven't touched the washi yet because there's quite a bit. If you saw my last video, which was the haul, but um, so I have like everything kind of ready. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So let's get started. Oh geez. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my whole cutting of the washi, which I don't think I did. I didn't do that for magic. I did do that for pastel Halloween, but it has been um, how long since I've filmed pastel Halloween? Like it was been like over a month, two months now. Like I need to get a new ruler. I have this there in Conjuring ruler. I just don't know where I put it. And I'm using that with my slice tool. I hear Avery getting up and moving. So I'm gonna cut this. Good, that worked in half. Do the same for this side because I'm gonna be using some Simply Yielded Washi from not the most recent pre-sale, which I don't think mine has shipped yet, but um, the like July pre-sale, which was like the fall colors, which I showed you in my haul. I need to actually check and see if the last pre-sale has shipped for me. I don't think it has though. Um, I think my November box is what has shipped. I'm also using the Tombow mono correction tape i'm just going to white out these top lines here oh geez this is my favorite white out as you guys know i used to try try to use the bic one but that is just like asking for not having a good time uh oh here we go sorry about that i had a feeling that was gonna happen sooner rather than later which is good because i got her situated she has snacks now She's good to go. I think she has like Disney Junior on or something. The one thing about this um, white out that I don't like, it's not like a deal breaker, is that sometimes it does get off track, but you just have to kind of maneuver it back. Oh, Ray, you little turd. Okay, there's that. I feel like I'm already out of breath and I only got up for two seconds. Sorry. Okay, so let's put this bottom washi down that I cut. Um, I'll do it a little bit lower because I always forget that with the Simply Gilded, it does take up a little bit of space, but it's okay. So there's that one. And then we'll do 
So I cut these so well. I'm so proud of myself. See what happens when you take your time, Kristen? <laughs> Surprising things happen. Oh, but yeah, I, I feel so awkward planning this because I, I think this week is like the first full week of December. So like everyone's probably using Christmas kits and here I am using my Halloween kit finally. Um, the Simply Gilded Washi, I was up in the air between two different ones, but I decided I wanted to pull in more purple because there is a lot of green and purple and brown in this kit. And obviously the brown is already right here. And I was like, do I want to bring in green? But there's a lot of green. So I was like, let's do the purple. So this is the purple with like the rose gold kind of like coppery um, foil bow. I'm gonna be using gold foil with this kit. Not a ton, okay, I say not a ton, but like I'm not doing glitter header overlays this week. I was going to, but I couldn't find any that I like really liked. So I'm just gonna be using like a gold foil with those. Sorry if I sound out of breath. This is gonna happen, I can tell for the next few months. So I do apologize. I'm just gonna be out of breath like all the time. Please forgive me. I cannot help it. Um, but yeah, everyone's using like Christmas kits this week and I'm just like catching up slowly but surely. I wanna get another plan with me. I think I might have time Tuesday to film another one. If not, I should have time later in the week um, so I can have another one up later in the week for you guys. So I can just keep, keep on catching up because like, I know I'm behind. And I was doing, like, a plan with me every, like, two weeks, two, three weeks, too. But so much has happened, you guys. I, like, I had plans to film more plan with me's, but a lot in our life has happened, which you will see. We had to do some unexpected traveling in November, so I, my filming plans got a slightly derailed, but, um, it's obviously for a good reason. Okay, I need to move this down a little bit more because I'm like catching it on something. E. Okay. This week was a good week though. I pulled out a lot of fun stickers to use, which I'm excited about. Okay, so I used up that washi. I'll just add it to my pile to put away. And that is what well, I'm gonna open it to like March. That's what that looks like. That actually looks really good. I really like that. Okay, let's do the full box situation. Oh, I dropped the little freebie. Okay, let's keep that over here. So I wanna scatter the Sanderson sisters like throughout the spread. I'm definitely gonna do that. I put a spell on you on the thankful thought. So I'm just gonna put that down now before I forget it. I mean, I won't forget, but you know, you know me. Um, also, let's do those um, flags quickly. They're on the deco page. They're like a green glitter, which is fun. I'm covering up this text slightly. I don't really care too much if it's covered um, because for the most part, deco will cover the rest. Okay, now let's work on those full boxes. There's also an extra full box here, but because I am using the for Sanderson sisters. I'm not gonna be using this box or um, this one, because they're essentially the same thing. So I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll use the Sanderson sisters because I wanna use the double box. I'll use Binks, Thackeray Binks, um, the book, and the nails, I think is how many I need. So I'm just gonna skip these two. Um, so how do I wanna do this? How do I do this for magic? Because it worked out well i think i'm gonna do wednesday and friday at the bottom maybe yeah wednesday and friday at the bottom so those are the girls so i'm gonna do okay so i'm gonna do um sarah on wednesday i love that these are like modern sanderson sisters i don't know i think that's so cool sarah and then i'll do mary on friday i love focus focus um, this Halloween season, it was on, I still say ABC, but I know it's freeform. It was on freeform like 30,000 times. And of the 30,000 times, I watched Hocus Pocus probably 12 times, 12 or 13. I think I lost count after 10, but I watched it a lot. I love Hocus Pocus. I can quote the dumb movie. Like, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's just so good. Um, okay, so let's do glitter headers. 
I scatter my glitter headers. Oh, am I gonna use... Okay, so mm, I'll come back. I was thinking about my foil overlays, but I think I'll come back to those almost towards the end of the full box placement because I kind of have a feeling I know what I'm doing a little bit. I say that, but then watch the spread turn out like absolute trash. I've also been really bad about posting on um, my planner Instagram. Like I took pictures, but I just like never posted them. So I need to get back on that. That's just something, I mean, I'm horrible in general at posting on, these are slightly lower, on Instagram, like even just like my personal account, I'm just like really not the greatest at posting on there. I take a lot of pictures, but like most of them, I'm just like, eh. I'm just gonna save these for like personal stuff. But um, I'm just like not that great with social media lately. So I need to get back into that. Okay, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. And then green on Mary, I love Mary. I mean, I love all of them respectively. I have found that over the years, I relate a lot to Winifred, but I also feel like I relate a lot to Mary. I don't know. I feel like when you're a kid, you love, or not a kid, but I feel like like when you initially watch Hocus Pocus, you love Sarah, cause like Sarah Jessica Parker, and she's like flirty and fun, and I don't know, she's just like everyone's like initial favorite, but then you start to realize when you get older that you relate more to the other ones, and I'm like, I am a Winifred. I am mean. Okay, so there's those, if I can get this one on a little bit straighter. I just put it down in the exact same spot. Oh, my camera's dying. I have another battery charging right now, so if, when this one dies, I'll put the other battery on. Okay, so on Monday, I'm gonna do Winifred then. So this sheet is completely used up, which is one of my favorite things to do. Oh, she's so sassy. And then on Thursday, I'll do I'll do the book and I'll save Thackeray Banks for down here. So there's the book. Let's keep this train moving because I'm already going slow. I just like, I don't know, I like chatting and I want this to turn out decently well. So there's that. How far along was I this week? That was 16 weeks this week. Seems like years ago. 16 weeks was actually when we found out the gender of um, Avery. Sorry, I was rudely interrupted because my camera died, like I told you guys it was going to. But it was, we found out Avery's gender early because um, there was like an issue with finding her heartbeat, which was like an ongoing issue my entire pregnancy with Avery. She just like, they could never find her heartbeat because she was just like a crazy pants in there. So they pulled out the ultrasound machine and we were able to find out the gender earlier than anticipated because they usually tell you around the anatomy scan if you don't do the blood test which we didn't know that existed with Avery and we obviously did not do that with this baby I don't know the gender yet I know everyone asks we don't know the gender yet um so at 16 weeks with Avery we knew the gender but I felt with Avery like I'd already felt from like conception that she was a girl I was like I know it's a girl but I have no feelings with this baby I literally have no clue I'm excited to find out my nose is running but we are Sorry, finding out at the anatomy scan, so, which is soon. So I'm gonna do the double box on Saturday and Sunday. I definitely love this scene. I just like how like planner girl it is. It's cute, like they have their little planner out in their washi and their stickers while ice is like hanging from above them. Oh, my nose is still running. And then I was gonna do the nails, which I'll do those on Tuesday. And I'll save Thackeray Binks for down here, so. Uh, oh, almost put on Wednesday, so let's put this on Tuesday. Very good, so before I do the glitter headers up top, I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do my foil overlays because I still wanna do overlays even though I'm not doing glitter header overlays. I have these from Scribble Prints Co. I believe these are the splatter in gold. I thought the splatter would be cool for like Halloween. Um, ish, there's four, do I wanna use all four? Probably not, but also I could because I could do the, I put a spell on you and then the three girls. Yeah, let's do that, I think that's kind of a cool idea. 
so let's do the overlays. Oh, that looks cool. And then I'll do the three sisters. So I'll do Mary down here. So I could have still did the glitter headers up top, but whatever. And then we'll do Winifred. I pulled out my Hocus Pocus stickers because I was gonna use them for something, but I totally didn't even realize that they're also in the kit. And then I used up this whole sheet, which is so fun. Two full sheets used. Oh, I need to like smooth that one out later. I love using up full sheets, but then I'm like, must repurchase. Oh my gosh, I put this on. <gasps> ah, so bad. So bad, Sarah. Okay. Ugh, it looks so bad. Uh, you can't really tell, thankfully, but that's not a good time. I just peeled up a lot of that ink, but it's okay because it's okay. That's why it's okay because it looks fine. It's okay. Okay, let's do the rest of the glitter cutters. I'm sorry. I'm crazy messy. And I was trying so hard to make this a nice plan with me, guys. I have a feeling I gave Avery Oreos because that's like her new favorite snack, and I have a feeling she's making the meanest mess out there. So can't wait to go out there and see that. Good thing today's cleaning day though, because I still have a ton of laundry to do, guys. Okay, so like laundry was like my chore. And then when I was sick, I didn't do like, I mean, I would do laundry, but I wouldn't fold it at all. Like it would just sit there. And so it's been like that now for a very long time. So I need to start my mass folding it's gonna take probably a couple days because there's so many clothes that need to be folded and i gotta get on that so there's the oh she's out there singing nice did i do this wrong no i did it right okay she's playing with her peppa pig toys i can hear them okay so there's that she's like out of napping now so there's just no hope anymore for naps. Oh, I don't like how the two greens are right next to each other, but that was just the way the cookie crumbles. So there's the basic overview. I think it looks pretty good. Sorry, I have to take drinks like every five seconds or I will die. Um, so there's that. Okay, let's do day by day, or should I do sidebar? Let's do the sidebar first. I don't normally do the sidebar first, but I'm kind of feeling it. Um, so I'm gonna take a daily habit tracker to mark taking medicine, which seems kind of ridiculous because this is from weeks ago, but eventually I'll get back on track with this. So there's that, and then the washi pattern. I'll use the green. So I'll do a piece of washi in between this and a box did i use the squared off box sorry i keep referencing but like yes i did cool so i'm gonna use a squared off box because i like that idea for my like baby bump date situations um i'll use this one because this green matches far too well with the washi and i kind of want it to stand out a little I'm gonna use that half box, grab another piece of washi, and then I'm gonna grab a work header, which is purple. Because I did work this week. <laughs> like that. I'm just layering it slightly so I make sure that it's lined up well. And then I need a weekly ombre, which I will use green, yes. Making sure that's right, cool. And then I wanna use Zachary Binks, but I don't know if I need washi in between. I didn't do washi in between with the last one, so I won't do it with this one. I feel like I might have to cut him slightly. Yeah, I'll just have to cut the bottom, but that fits for the most part. So there's that, and then I'm also just gonna throw in, these are from Pumpkin Paper Co., the weekly bump dates. So this was week 16. 
18. I don't know where I'm gonna put my stickers when I finish with them, so I'll just put that there. And I'll just pop the girl here. I don't remember what the size of the baby was this week. Sorry, I knew this was gonna be difficult being the only parent home, but Brian works Sundays, so like, I needed to get this done. Um, and like I said, she doesn't nap anymore. But like I said, I don't remember what the size of the baby was at 16 weeks. Obviously, I'll look it up and I'll put it in. It was the size of an avocado for 15. I don't remember what 16 was at all. I'll look it up and obviously I'll put that in. But that's like one of my favorite things that I've been doing. I just think it's really cute. I don't know. I like it a lot. Maybe a mango? I don't know. I don't remember. Um, so, yeah, let's get started with Day by Day, which I'm pretty excited about. So, uh, first things first on Monday was that we paid daycare. <laughs> so, I have the Planner Gems crayons, which this is the first sheet. I love using these up as much as possible. I think I was going to go with that, like, yellow color because it's just, like, super ugly. But I think I'm going to use the black because, like, how often have I been able to use black? And then I'm not putting any TV shows in anymore, especially with these like rewinds because first of all, they would stack high and second of all, I don't remember what I watched. Also, I have a lot of hangnails. So I'm sorry, my nails look disgusting. Um, so the next thing, excuse me, is that we got gas in the morning. Some of these things are gonna be boring, I apologize. I'm gonna use an icon for that. So I'm gonna use the little car. Hold on. One two cool okay so this is going to be for getting gas and then I had McDonald's for lunch and I have these little coffee monsters co McDonald's doodles which are super cute um, I think I'm gonna use this is like is this like a muffin or a hash brown it looks like a hash brown um, I think I'm gonna use the hash brown just because it matches the spread really well <laughs> it's kind of strange to say I'm gonna put that there for our McDonald's lunch. And then we, I went to Target to get groceries. So for groceries, I have, these are from Scribble Prints Co. I'm not sure what's released and what's not, but these are the like Pizza Night, Taco Tuesday, Coffee Time, Grocery Run. I think these are released. Little scripts in J. Crew plans or Jessica's handwriting. And I'm gonna use a Grocery Run. I think I'm gonna use the larger one. I like that one a lot. With a skinny, piece of washi where's here we go uh-oh here comes the little one just trying to get in i told her just give me two minutes and i'll be right there i'm gonna use the larger grocery run here and i'm gonna keep this one out because i think i'm gonna use it for something later so i'm just gonna put that on there and <laughs> just put it down here she's singing now cool so that fits really well and if i don't have to write things in i am not going to because this works for me um, and also it's just a little extra foil which is nice so next on Monday we started me and Brian started haunting of Hill House which is a Netflix show and it was it's still super hyped up and I have a lot of feelings about the ending which we just finished the ending like last week so I'll get to that in a couple weeks or in a week or so um, I'll tell you my feelings about the ending but this day we watched like three episodes and all I will say if you haven't seen it yet is I definitely suggest you watch it the hype is real it's a great show it's like spooky it wasn't really scary for me I mean there's jump scares but it's like it wasn't scary for me it was more like sad and I just really like the show um, I might rewatch it because I liked it so much so I want to put that in for sure I kind of want to put that in with a quarter box too because it was like something kind of major that we did because we did watch like three episodes this day so I'm gonna use the purple quarter box up top here See, these purples are two different purples but like it's fine and I have these coffee monsters co uh, TV addict um, emojis and I think I'm gonna use do I want to use a medium-sized one because I hardly ever use a medium-sized one I'll do the little no I want to use the one that says TV rather than the binge oh this is so big though I'm gonna put it kind of higher so I have enough space to write everything in because the Haunting of Hill House is kind of a longer name. And then we had a pizza night, so I'm gonna go back to that first sheet that I used for the grocery run and use the pizza night, which I'm pumped about. I think I'm gonna do the kind of same thing I did previously um, with that. I'm gonna use another piece of washi. Let's turn this sideways. And grab, there's only one pizza night, so. 
I'll leave that out though because I feel like I might use it again. Oh my god, barbecue's out there. I didn't even realize that. I love barbecue food. I've been craving barbecue food like a lot. And like coleslaw. Oof. I know something weird that I've been craving that I've never craved in my entire life, like more than I have craved recently. Milk. Like all I've been wanting is milk and like ice cream. Which ice cream is normal, but like milk. I could drink like six glasses of milk a day. So we had a pizza night because we watched Honey Hill House and like I want to put in that cuddled the fam because this is going to be probably like one of the last few times I can use these Fox and Cactus three family stickers with just one child. So I need to kind of use these as much as possible. So for cuddling with the fam, I don't know if I want to use a quarter box, but I kind of do. I don't know. Oh, I could be using these on fancy labels, but I kind of like the way that looks too though. Maybe I'll do that in the future. Uh, let's do a glitter quarter box for cuddling with the fam and I'll use like the black one. And I'll put it up a little higher right underneath that pizza night. I'll grab one of these Fox and Cactus family stickers and I'll put it kind of along the bottom of the washi there, but very cute. So that is Monday. Tuesday, Avery had a soccer. This might've been her last week of soccer, but I have the once more with love soccer sheet. Um, I'm gonna use a, I guess I'll use the red one. I mean, none of these colors really match, but whatever. I have another sheet, but it has like pink girls on it. And I feel like this is just like a little bit more matchy matchy. Hopefully she's not breaking things. I don't think she is. Um, oh, I didn't really do anything this day. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> e. I only have two other things written down for Tuesday. Hmm. <laughs> what if I did? Mm. No. Hmm. Actually, no, I can do two, three, three more things. So I would just do one and then two, three. That's going to suck. Because this day was so like nicely full and then this day is going to be bad. So on Tuesday, I watched Christopher Robin the movie which was so cute i thought i was gonna cry um i did not cry i thought i was going to but i did not i'm gonna use a plain piece of washi kind of a thicker one i'll use the black i thought i would cry because winnie the pooh is one of my faves but i didn't cry it was still very cute though and i'll use another i'll use a pattern half box kind of right here I wanted to use that piece of washi just to fill some space, which, I mean, I love white space, but I just kind of wanted to fill some space. And then, oh, I like saved this sticker specifically for this movie. So this is a little sampler from S'more Crafter that I believe this was in the SPC Planner Party swag. Oh my gosh, she's the cutest little ramen sticker. I didn't even realize that. But there's a little Winnie the Pooh sticker on here. And I was like, mm, kind of need. So I'm gonna use that for watching Christopher Robin. I just think it's really cute. And then I put pull out Disney stickers. I believe I also filmed this day. So I don't have any filming. I should have a filming like icon or something. But for pulling out Disney stickers, um, I'm just gonna do it like blank. I have the Once More With Love Mice Munchkins, which I just got and I was like, I really wanna use these. So I'm just gonna use the Mickey to pull out for pulling out Disney stickers. I'm gonna slide it down a little. I can write that in. And then um, I guess I could put in filming. So. I don't really want to like use a quarter box for that though. I feel like that's not like quarter box worthy. Mm. I don't know. Oh, there is this like film edit upload sticker though I could use. Let's do that. So like I'll kind of center it towards the middle, but like that kind of stinks that I didn't have a lot to do this day. I need to keep that in mind for the future. So there's that. <laughs> and I don't really like Tuesday that much, but maybe I'll like it when I fill, when I fill it out. Um, Wednesday was Halloween. So I do have the Rose Color Days um, holidays that I was using throughout this year, but I have them in silver, which I need to know for the future to get like multiple foil colors. But I do have the Scribble Prince Co. holidays in gold and Jessica's handwriting as well. And I was like, this is perfect because it'll match the other gold. So I'm gonna use the Halloween sticker from this day or this sheet, excuse me, um, on a quarter box, faux show. Let's use a glitter one. I'm gonna use a purple glitter one. Cause that's real pretty. 
And I'm gonna do, oop, Halloween. It's not as centered as I would like it. Okay. I pulled up a lot of ink, but it's not too terrible. There we go, I centered it better, so that's what I wanted. Oh, did I pull something up? Oh no, okay. So I'm gonna put that up here, because Wednesday was Halloween. It's a little sideways, but whatever. And then Avery had a costume parade in the morning, so I have a lot of like Halloween deco stickers, but I really, I totally forgot I had that this Coffee Monsters Co. Halloween sticker book from last year. I remember sitting at the nail studio when this was released and I purchased it like immediately. Um, but I really like this little pumpkin sticker, which like I don't know if my children will ever be pumpkins for Halloween. So I really wanna use it to mark her Halloween parade because I think that's really cute. So I'm gonna put that in right here. And this is like a medium sized, a modi so it's a little bigger but i'll be able to fit in writing more things there and then well yeah and then this day brian and i also we took a half day at work because we wanted to go to her costume parade so right afterwards we went and had a breakfast date which was really cute um at this place called first watch i think i'm gonna move this now that i'm like thinking about it just a little bit more at this place called first watch i have these spc um like little scripts sorry and then these are like the couple ones like the date ones so there is a breakfast date sticker which is really cute um i'm trying to think of how i want to do this because i also pulled out breakfast like stickers but i don't think i'm going to use them because i kind of want to just focus on the breakfast date situation so let's do this on a fancy label wherever those are where are they oh right here i was like what is happening I'm gonna do one more of these. Or actually, let's do it on a patterned one. So I'll do breakfast date. Again, these are all in gold foil. I'm not like bringing out multiple foil colors. Um, I just put away all my foil today too, so it's gonna be super fun to have to put all that back. Um, so let's do this on a green. I do like these on the washies. I think they're cute, but I did wanna kinda test it out on these labels as well, cause they look really nice as well. So I'll put that right here. That's cute. I like that a lot. The foil is looking good. I'm glad I didn't do the glitter foil on the headers because I feel like that might have been too much. Um, so there's that. And then we trick or treated that night after we worked. So I'm gonna just put in this fox and cactus sticker that I've had from last year. Um, I'm gonna use a little vampire because Avery was Vampirina for Halloween. I posted a picture on my personal Instagram. I don't have any Vampirina stickers, but I do have a Vampire, so I'll put that in there. And then that night we had a Hocus Pocus marathon. I think I watched it twice that night. Um, so I do wanna put that in a half box because that was kind of a bigger thing that we did, or that I did by myself. I was dead after trick-or-treating because it was raining like for a little bit and Avery was like, I kinda wanna go home now. And I was like, thank God. Um, and so when we went home, I was like dying. I was so tired. So I'm gonna put this, oh, no I'm not. I kind of want to use a quarter box now because that's a little too big. So let's put this half box back. I already used the purple quarter box, so let's use the black wood. And then I have, I did pull out the Scribble Prince Co. Hocus Pocus like trios. They are on here as well on the deco sheet. But I kind of want to use the trio now that I'm staring at it, so. I'm gonna use my trio of Sanderson sisters. Oh no, phone call. No one important, goodbye. I kinda wanna put it in like this, but I do wanna write it in as well, so I'll just layer it slightly on top of that glitter header. So there is Halloween, and that is the first half of the week. That looks really good, right? With the sidebar for the first time ever? Jeez, look at me. Okay, let's flip to the second half. So, Thursday. Um, okay, so Thursday. <laughs> I put in that I prepped my film schedule and then I put lol next to it because I did prep out a film schedule and then just like never filmed. Um, so I am going to put that in though because that is funny. And then also I registered for classes um, that day. I did end up starting school again the next week. I'm in school right now. So for prepping my film schedule, I'm going to use a little <laughs> YouTube icon, which is funny. Wait, hold on. One, two. Okay, so I'm going to do this for that. And then register for classes, I might make it a little bit more fancy with like a quarter box or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's use a red one. Oh, oh, that's a lot of red right there. Hold on, because I'm gonna use something that's also like reddish. Let's use green. I was like, that's a lot of red. Not a lot happened on Thursday. That's why I'm kind of trying to manage. I need to like remember to put like more little things down that I can put in. And then I'm gonna use from the little freebie, the girl, the little munchkin on her laptop for registering for classes. <clears throat> Avery was homesick this day. She had a fever, which I feel like attributed to the fact that she trick-or-treated outside and it started raining and I'm sure she got sick from it. So because she was homesick with a fever, I have the Once More With Love sick day sheet. I think she's reformatted this, but there is a little fever munchkin, which is cute. But I kind of want to use this like sick day sheet because it's big. So let's do this for Avery. And then I was super tired that night. I think I stayed up and did a lot of like cleaning and work or something because I put late night exhaustion. So I have this really cute sticker that I feel like only works in this color scheme of a spread from Fox and Cactus. This little, this was a July sampler, the galaxy sampler, but it's the little zombie holding the coffee cup for late night exhaustion. So I will put that in there i feel like it looks so boring with like just two stickers but i mean this is what happened friday a lot of things happened so that's good friday avery was homesick so we sent her to school but they were like no she's still sick and we were like no she's not so they said she was still sick so we already had gone to work so brian went and picked her up so i have these little these were custom from andrea these little avery on ipad stickers which is how i felt avery spent her day because she was not sick she probably just played on her pad all day and just chilled with Brian. So that's Avery staying home sick on Friday. Um, I had Voodoo Donuts that day. Emily went and got Voodoo Donuts for everyone. So I have this donut sheet from SPC, which I realized I was using so many donut stickers. I was like, I kind of need these. So I grabbed them. I swiped them. So I'm going to use the little scribbler, the purple one of Celeste for Voodoo Donuts. I'll put it right here. And then I did watch a movie at work this day. I watched The Meg, which is like a shark movie. I love shark movies. I have like an intense love for shark movies. I don't know why. I mean, I just love shark movies. So I really wanted to see this movie, so I was very excited to be able to watch it. So I'm gonna put that there, and I'm gonna use a half box. I don't feel like this is gonna layer very well. Come on. There, I'll do it like this. Nice. And then I have these shark stickers from Fox and Cactus. I don't remember when I used one before, but I have these and these are fantastic. So I'm going to use this big one for the Meg. Sorry, my heater just kicked on. So I'm going to layer it like that. <laughs> I love that. Also did a Target run this day. I have these Fox and Pip Mom Life stickers that are the mom holding like a coffee with a messy bun and a Target bag. That's usually me. So that's my Target run. And then Brian made stir fry for dinner, which like I don't know why I, I felt like putting it down, but maybe I was just so excited because I was craving stir fry. So I have these little Coffee Monsters Co. cooking emojis that I'm going to use for that. Um, I'm gonna use the little chef, like the medium sized chef one, because that's this Brian. So there's there's Friday. Um, Saturday and Sunday, let's do the weekend banner. Oh, I didn't even put in a payday. Shoo! I didn't even think about that. I didn't write that in. So let's move this one up slightly and then payday I have the little scripts from SPC uh, there's also a payday sticker in here but I kind of want to use the gold foil on this day because I don't have any gold foil so far so let's do that with a label I'm gonna use the like solid one I guess I'm just gonna go down the line here and I'll use it on this fancy label. Uh-oh, she's knocking. She's so cute, and she's such a good kid. She was like, hey, Mom, I broke my slide. And I was like, okay, I'll fix it. And she's like, are you almost done? And I was like, yes. She said, okay, when you're done, come play. And she's so cute. So I'm going to put this payday down here. Such a sweet angel. She's so good to me. Okay, so there's that. And that brings in a little bit more foil. Now let me adjust myself because I totally, I have cat hair all over me. How does that happen? I mean, I know how it happens. It's fine. Anyway, weekend banner. Um, I kind of want to put it up here because not a lot happened this weekend. <sighs> As I'm just talking about how good she is, she's like, you almost done? <laughs> okay. 
Anyway, I'm going to do the weekend banner up here because not a lot happened Saturday and Sunday. I actually had the weekend off for the first time in a long time. I normally don't have my weekends off, so that was nice. Um, so let's put in my weekend banner up top here-ish. I am going to kind of slightly layer it on the glitter headers because that's how I do that. I feel like I kind of want the K in the middle like usual, so I'm going to do like this. I'm kind of hungry. kind of want spaghetti. I always want spaghetti, let's be honest with ourselves, but I might make spaghetti again today. So there's that. Um, Saturday was a cleaning day. Mm, so let's use, I have these, again, these scripts. I have so many of them, but like, it's working for me. These are like the cleaning day ones, so I'm going to use the one that says cleaning day because it makes sense to me. I kind of want to use that one on a piece of washi just because it's what I was doing and I stopped doing that, so I kind of want to stay a little bit consistent. So I'll do this one on a piece of skinny washi. Use the cleaning day. I feel like I can center them really well too with this washi versus doing it on like a label, which I know is weird, but um, yeah. So I'll do it like right here. I did bring out a um, like character sticker to use as well, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So I'll skip that. And then I also spent the day with my Avery. It was just me and Abe. I think Brian worked this day, maybe. I don't remember why. I don't remember anything. So there's that. I'm just going to use a half box to mark my day with Avery. I'm going to use a red one. And I'm using this sticker that, again, I need to... Well, I don't need to necessarily use these up, but I, this is my... La not my last sheet, but the last one on this particular sheet of the SPC squad. This was an old $2 Tuesday of me and Ave. I have tons of these sheets, but I used up another sheet that's three sheets that's playing with me. I'm so excited. So I'm going to put this one here. So I spent the day with my girl, and then I signed us back up for Home Chef this day. I don't think we ended up getting it for a couple of weeks, though, because we weren't home. <laughs> but I do want to put in that I signed us back up for Home Chef, which I'm excited about, which we've been using for the past couple weeks, and I love. It's, like, seriously my favorite thing ever. So, let's do... I kind of want to use, I guess, another grocery icon is cool. Let's use the house icon because it's like home chef and it's my home and that makes sense. And then also this day, me, or I guess, yeah, for the most part it was me, I binged watched holiday baking shows, <laughs> which is going to be weird on like a Halloween spread, but it's fine. I kind of want to use a squared off box for that. Huh, do I? Yes. Oh, it's right here. I was like, where's that box? It's green, but it's fine. So I'll do that here for my holiday baking show binge watching. And I also have the Christmas emojis from last year maybe from Coffee Monsters Co. Um, I'm gonna use the one with the gingerbread house because it's not as like Christmassy or holiday-y but it still kind of matches the color scheme of this kit. I need to adjust this box. I can kind of see it went a little, oh geez, a little wonky so. Let's adjust that, and then I'll do the little gingerbread emoji right here, which is cute. And then Sunday, I was also home. I napped a lot this day. I'm very tired, so I'm going to put that in with this Fox and Cactus little, like, sleep girls. I need to get more of these because I'm running low, but I'm going to use the little, the girl with the black PJs for napping, like, all day. I also did laundry this day, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the cleaning day. I'm gonna use the laundry time sticker with a piece of washi. I've used all the skinny washies on this sheet and I don't want a solid, but there is skinny washi on the washi sheet, so. Uh, let's use that. Hopefully you guys like this this style of playing with me and also Avery interrupting me because I can guarantee that that's going to happen in just about every playing with me. Just about. Except for the times Brian's Holman can help me. So there's that. And I will put that right here. It's so cute. And then I have a ton of space 
which is weird because I only have one other thing I can put in. What are, does anything else happen on Sundays? No, not really. Oh, it was daylight savings time ending. I could put that in, so let's do that. Um, I can use a clock icon or even just one of these little icons. I'll use one of these for daylight savings. Nice. And then the only other thing I did all Sunday was that in between my naps, I was binge watching CMT, the channel CMT, um, because they were showing a bunch of like rom-coms. It was like how to lose a guy in 10 days, 13 going on 30, like Sweet Home Alabama, like all the stuff I love to watch in my spare time. So I'm going to use a half box and mark that I watched like those movies all day because I was very into it. I'm going to use this patterned one here it's like uh, i don't like half boxes next to half boxes and there's so many like half boxes and quarter boxes going on but it's cute um and then i have from fox and cactus i have these little girls kind of like me time ended up watching movies so i will put those in here very cute okay so that's everything oh my goodness um i think all we have left to do is deco which is exciting a lot of this kit is still like unused which is annoying like i hardly use the little things sheet and it's so unlike me but i will save most of these items i need to start a new declutter pile um so let's go ahead and put that to the side and let's work on the deco i'm gonna open this up and zoom you out so you can oh that's not out that's the opposite of the out and so you guys can see that looks so cute oh too far you can see my stuff Look at the foil. Oh, that's so good. I like this a lot. Okay, so let's do some deco. Quite a bit of deco to choose from. Um, and I am opting for deco this week. I was thinking about opting for date covers, but feeling the deco this week. Let's use the little tumbler, which is cute. Let's use some items that I didn't really use from like the full boxes. So like some of the planner items. I'll pop those in. Oh, hello. This little paper clip with the cauldron on it. Like, why? Why doesn't that exist? Little Binks. Zachary Binks. Uh, he's a little big. Let's make him... He's gonna get his head cut off no matter what, huh? Let's put him right here. -ish. Yeah, that way his ears are just the only thing that's cut off. Oh, and another, like, the Black Flame Candle paper clip. Like what even that's so cute kind of love that let's do one over here too with this little bow in between maybe i'll do the bow here another stack of washi which i don't know if i'm gonna have a lot of room for because i didn't allot myself a lot of room the book um i'll do a green feather over here. I need to stop putting things in like kind of crooked because then I can't like fit anything in. I need one more thing here I feel. Maybe not. And then I'll go to that icon sheet. This is how much deco I had left. And I will grab, ooh, dropping things. Here's the icon sheet. There are little dots along the bottom here that I will just kind of peel and put in. It's kind of hard when you don't have nails. And I'm not using my tweezers. Oh, my stomach is growling. I need to eat some food. Um, when you don't have tweezers, because my tweezers are gross. And I don't want to use those in my planner. <laughs> I need to get tweezers specifically for my planner. Is that, I, I know that's not weird. I was going to say, is that weird? But I, I know there's people that have tweezers specifically for their planners. So I know that's not weird. I just need my little nails again. Okay. And then we'll do some on this side. I like that there is the dots. I know she's doing like check boxes now, which I also kind of like for like tasks and things. But this is fun for when I need just like a hair more deco and have a lot of little space for it. It's cute. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get another Plan With Me filmed sometime this week to go up later in the week so I can start doing two a week. And that way I can get caught back up. So that way when I do do, when I do do, <laughs> um, Monday plan with me's, they will be of the previous week always. And I hope to do other videos as well, but you know. So there's that. That is the week in full. The color that I chose, 
as my pen this week is purple. Um, looking at it now, I think that's a good choice. I was gonna do black, but I just really black. It's I don't like using black in my planner. I don't know why. I know that's like a staple for a lot of people, but I just don't want to. So for anything on the actual sticker paper, the SPC sticker paper, I'm gonna be using a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point in this purple, this like dark purple. And then anything on the actual Erin Condren paper, I'm gonna be using a Pilot G2, also in 0.7, also in purple. I prefer the Pilot G2s on the actual Erin Condren paper because the Sharpies bleed through. And then the other pens that I have, the, um, what are these? The Paper Mint Ink Joys, they also bleed through and I don't, I don't like that and I have a heavy hand, so that's why I do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's plan with me, or this Halloween plan with me, I guess. I'll see you soon this week. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.